sorry about this, wrong, wrong uh, psalm. We turn to 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. One John One John chapter one verse nine If we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. If we confess he will forgive. I um, I was in a particular city the other day evangelizing and this lady uh, who was from Ireland, I think Ireland or whatever, she's Catholic anyway and I went to the local uh, pub uh, to read my Bible and I had a pint. I don't normally have a pint. And um, people were quite curious why I was in the pub drinking a pint and reading my Bible and um, this young lady who was a Catholic walked past and she said oh you read your Bible I said yeah I'm just trying to relax for a few minutes the other guys are out there uh, evangelizing but I, I just need a bit of a rest so we got talking and she told me that she wasn't a very good Catholic that at the beginning of a Catholic journey she um, got involved with uh, somebody and uh, she didn't get married and you know she had a child out of wedlock and all the rest of it you know you don't have to be good you just have to acknowledge you're a sinner And we all make mistakes, we all fail, we, we all don't live up to what we should live up to. The point is that David here began to admit where his sin was, turn away, and when he did that, in that 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, we find forgiveness from God. Again, 1 John 1 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So I don't know about your life. You might be a Christian and you might have gone out with a, a man or a woman that's not a Christian. You might have slept with them and you're not married. And you think to yourself, well, that's it. My faith is gone now. I'm I'm not a Christian anymore, or if I'm a Christian, I'm, I'm certainly not going to be forgiven again. I don't know what, what sins you've committed, and I don't need to know, and I don't want to know. But what I do know is that if you have fallen into sin, whether a Christian or, or not, whether you're not a Christian, that there's always a way back to God. That God offers forgiveness but it, it comes at the point where we have to acknowledge our own failure and sin. Again, I'll read that verse again, 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we confess, we've got to confess, we've got to acknowledge, God, I'm a sinner. God, I failed. God, I've not done what I should have done in this area. And we have to confess, we have to be honest. It's very hard to be honest with ourselves. It's very hard to confess before God. But it's the only way to know God. It's the only way back to God is to confess. And if we confess and turn away from that sin, God will have us back, but we've got to confess. Psalm 34, 18. Psalm 34, 18. 